What does the P wave represent in an ECG? A. Ventricular repolarization. B. Atrial depolarization. C. Ventricular depolarization. D. Atrial repolarization. Answer B. The P wave indicates atrial depolarization, or the electrical activity that triggers contraction of the atria. What is the standard speed setting for ECG paper? A. 50 mm per second. B. 10 mm per second. C. 25 mm per second. D. 5 mm per second. Answer C. The standard paper speed is 25 mm per second, allowing accurate interpretation of wave intervals and durations. Which lead is known as the rhythm strip in a standard ECG? A. Lead I. B. Lead 2. C. Lead 3. D. AVR. Answer B. Lead 2 is commonly used as the rhythm strip because it provides a clear view of the heart's electrical activity, especially the P wave. What is the normal PR interval range? A. 0.12 to 0.20 seconds. B. 0.06 to 0.10 seconds. C. 0.22 to 0.28 seconds. D. 0.08 to 0.12 seconds. Answer A. A PR interval between 0.12 to 0.20 seconds indicates normal conduction from the atria to the ventricles. Which condition is characterized by a wide QRS complex? A. Atrial fibrillation. B. First degree AV block. C. Ventricular tachycardia. D. Sinus bradycardia. Answer C. A wide QRS complex typically indicates that the impulse originates in the ventricles, as seen in ventricular tachycardia. What is the purpose of skin preparation before placing electrodes? A. Improve adhesion. B. Prevent allergic reaction. C. Reduce skin temperature. D. Block sweat glands. Answer A. Cleaning the skin removes oils and dead cells to improve electrode adhesion and reduce electrical resistance. In a 12 lead ECG, where is V1 placed? A. Fourth intercostal space, left of sternum. B. Fifth intercostal space, midclavicular line. C. Fourth intercostal space, right of sternum. D. On the sternum. Answer C. V1 is placed at the fourth intercostal space at the right sternal border for accurate chest lead reading. What does a tall, peaked T wave usually indicate? A. Hypokalemia. B. Hyperkalemia. C. Myocardial infarction. D. Hypoxia. Answer B. Hyperkalemia. Elevated potassium levels causes tall, peaked T waves on an ECG. What heart rate range defines bradycardia? A. Less than 40 BPM. B. Less than 60 BPM. C. Less than 80 BPM. D. Less than 100 BPM. Answer B. Bradycardia is defined as a heart rate less than 60 beats per minute in an adult. Which lead records the electrical activity between the right arm and left leg? A. Lead I. B. Lead 2. C. Lead 3. D. AVL. Answer B. Lead 2 monitors electrical signals from the right arm to the left leg and is commonly used for monitoring rhythm. What does a flat or inverted T wave suggest? A. Normal ECG finding. B. Left ventricular hypertrophy. C. Ischemia or hypokalemia. D. Hypercalcemia. Answer. C. A flat or inverted T wave often indicates myocardial ischemia or low potassium levels. 
Which component of the ECG represents ventricular repolarization? A. P wave. B. QRS complex. C. ST segment. D. T wave. Answer D. The T wave reflects the repolarization, recovery, of the ventricles. What is the role of the AV node in the cardiac conduction system? A. Initiates heartbeat. B. Acts as a backup pacemaker. C. Delays the impulse to allow atrial contraction. D. Stimulates ventricular contraction directly. Answer C. The AV node delays impulses from the SA node to allow complete atrial contraction before the ventricles contract. Which rhythm is identified by irregularly irregular QRS complexes with no visible P waves? A. Atrial flutter. B. Atrial fibrillation. C. Ventricular tachycardia. D. Sinus arrhythmia. Answer B. Atrial fibrillation produces irregular QRS complexes and absent P waves due to chaotic atrial activity. What is the function of the bundle of his? A. Generate impulses in the SA node. B. Delay conduction from atria to ventricles. C. Conduct impulses from AV node to bundle branches. D. Control T wave generation. Answer C. The bundle of his conducts electrical impulses from the AV node to the right and left bundle branches. What is the universal standard calibration mark height for ECGs? A. 5 mm. B. 10 mm. C. 20 mm. D. 25 mm. Answer B. Standard calibration is 10 mm tall, which represents 1 mv of electrical signal on ECG paper. Which arrhythmia is life-threatening and requires immediate defibrillation? A. Sinus bradycardia. B. Ventricular fibrillation. C. Atrial flutter. D. First-degree AV block. Answer B. Ventricular fibrillation leads to chaotic, uncoordinated heart activity and requires immediate defibrillation to restore rhythm. What is the purpose of the ST segment? A. Ventricular depolarization. B. Atrial repolarization. C. Time between ventricular depolarization and repolarization. D. SA node activity. Answer. C. The ST segment represents the period between the end of ventricular depolarization and the beginning of repolarization. Which lead is placed at the left midclavicular line in the fifth intercostal space? A. V2. B. V3. C. V4. D. V5. Answer. C. Lead V4 is placed in the fifth intercostal space at the left midclavicular line. What is a common cause of ECG artifact? A. Sinus bradycardia. B. Hyperkalemia. C. Patient movement. D. Atrial flutter. Answer. C. Artifacts are often caused by patient movement, muscle tremors, or poor electrode contact. Which wave represents atrial depolarization on the ECG? A. T wave. B. P wave. C. QRS complex. D. U wave. Answer B. The P wave reflects the electrical activity of atrial depolarization, which initiates atrial contraction. It is typically the first upward deflection in a normal ECG cycle. What is the normal PR interval duration in adults? A. 0.08 to 0.10 seconds. B. 0.12 to 0.20 seconds. C. 0.20 to 0.40 seconds. D. 0.40 to 0.60 seconds. Answer. B. 
a normal PR interval measures between 0.12 and 0.20 seconds. It represents the time from the onset of atrial depolarization to the onset of ventricular depolarization. What is the purpose of the AV node in the cardiac conduction system? A. To initiate ventricular repolarization. B. To act as a backup pacemaker. C. To delay impulses before reaching ventricles. D. To generate atrial contractions. Answer. C. The AV node introduces a slight delay in the electrical conduction from atria to ventricles, allowing the ventricles time to fill before contracting. What condition is indicated by a widened QRS complex? A. Atrial flutter. B. Ventricular hypertrophy. C. Bundle branch block. D. Sinus arrhythmia. Answer. C. A widened QRS complex often indicates a delay in ventricular conduction, commonly seen in bundle branch blocks or ventricular originated beats. What is the normal heart rate range for a healthy adult at rest? A. 40 to 60 BPM. B. 60 to 100 BPM. C. 100 to 120 BPM. D. 120 to 140 BPM. Answer. B. The normal resting heart rate for adults ranges from 60 to 100 beats per minute. Rates above or below this range may indicate bradycardia or tachycardia.